super cool party people and welcome to I can't believe it's February. <laughs> it is February 1st today. It is about 10 after 7 and I woke up like 10 minutes ago but <laughs> it was all part of the plan because every time I import my footage and everything to my editing program if there's anything that I know I need to change the speed of I do that immediately and then I render it. Well I didn't have a ton of footage from yesterday so I started to just edit the whole thing and then I just edited the whole thing and rendered it last night so all I had to do this morning was the thumbnail and now it's currently uploading so that is very exciting. I've got uh, going on and I don't know what it is but that is fine I guess. <laughs> Um, I'm maybe gonna write a blog post, but I don't know what I want to write about, so I might save that till later and then just slowly start to get ready. I want to put my contacts in, which is always a struggle when you're a little bit tired, so I'm gonna wait a couple minutes for that, but that's where we're at. Gamed my own system last night by setting my alarm for later because I edited it when I shouldn't have. Whatever, it worked out. I slept decently well at least for part of the night but in the beginning part of the night I was up and up and awake and up and awake and that's stupid but what can you do so I'm gonna start to get myself ready or something and I will check in with you either later on or at work alrighty so I'm now at work at the theater I was gonna say at the theater and at work at the same time and it just made my brain stop anyway there is new art today I'm actually really impressed because like I was mentioning the other day the last time this guy hung art here I guess it was his first time hanging a show and so none of his canvases were finished it was just like big canvases just like chilling and held up by clips and it wasn't the prettiest thing and there wasn't really a ton of diversity in his artwork but this time I, I would say it's a lot different so good job him he has learned I, like I mentioned the other day I've heard he's hung a couple other times so yeah I don't hate this as much as I hated the last stuff and I'm I, I'm not an art critic at all well I am here it's funny because this is like a non-adjudicated space so there's no judgment here but there is so much judgment <laughs> Because the staff is always like, hmm, that one's my favorite. But anyways, no, I think this is a much better show than the last time. Again, mostly just because of the fact that it actually looks like a show instead of just hanging some canvas on a wall. So that's exciting for him. I'm sure there'll be lots of people coming in. My only criticism is that we do have a large art space to hang art. And there's just not much art on the walls. Like, there's two on this side, two on that side, and then two up near the front, and then these little dudes back here. So more art is my only criticism. And maybe he's gonna come hang more art. His opening's not until the 11th, and it's only the first today. And I do know that sometimes artists and whatever come back and they hang a little bit more in between when they first open and then their actual opening. So who knows? Anyway, I am at work. It's going to be, let's guess, let's make an arbitrary time. I'm going to say between five and six hours today. <laughs> arbitrary time! Um, but we'll, we'll see. Anyways, I should probably get started. I'm looking very dark right now because that's the thing is, oh, they haven't changed the lights. They haven't changed the lights yet for this art showing. So a lot of the art is in shadows, but that's another thing that will happen before the official opening. Anyway, <laughs> the lighting is really off on me. I tried to lighten up my screen, but I don't think it made a difference. So I'm going to go to work now and, um, you know, work. I don't know. I don't really know what else to say. Listen, today's going to be a uh, longer than I thought. So I ordered in. Is that bad? It's probably bad. <laughs> we got some gravy. I got two of them because I always seem to run out. There's coleslaw. <laughs> Chicken strips. <laughs> Fries. And more fries, because I really wanted fries. This is like what I ate for dinner last night, if we're being honest, because I was like, if you guys want to get pizza for d, &D I can just do skip. And so I did, because I was craving it, and you know what? I wanted it again. And, um, it's good. Anyways, I haven't stopped at all yet. Usually I take a 15 at like 10 o'clock, but it is 11.30, and I haven't stopped yet. So I'm going to stop, I'm going to eat, and then um, go from there, I guess. 
<laughs> I'm the worst. <laughs> this app is too convenient. Okay, so let me tell you, those extra fries were a terrible idea. I feel so sick and so full and so gross. But I noticed this one piece of art here. It's just, it's two canvases with a piece of wood in the middle. This is why I don't understand art. Like, that's neat, but... Like, I really wish the prices were up yet, but I checked the board and the prices aren't out yet for these pieces. But I'm like, like, the cost of the material, yeah, I get it. Big canvases cost a lot, but I don't know. Anyway, <sighs> I am so full, but I need to get back to work. It is just afternoon now, so let's do this. I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, so it is 4.30. I got off work at 3. Then we went to the store to get some stuff. I got some chicken so I can make shredded chicken, but I'm too lazy to make it. Also, I should probably do laundry today, but it was kind of snowing slash kind of raining. And I mean, I could just say it's because of the weather, but mostly it's because I don't want to. So I'm just not going to do laundry today. It's fine. I don't work again until Tuesday so I can fluff through on just wearing pajamas. <laughs> also, when I got home, I realized, like, I know it's February 1st, but I realized that it is February 1st, and I was hit with the harsh realization that I now have to edit my book. Because <sighs> my goal is 5,000 words a day, which, you know, in January seemed like fine, it was never gonna show up, but now it is February, and today I should edit 5,000 words, but I'm not gonna, not right now at least. I have just two very important things that I want to do right now. One, Actually, wait, three. One, I want to get in that bed. <laughs> Two, I want to grab a bag of chips that I bought earlier today. And three, I want to put on the Taylor Swift Netflix documentary, and I want to watch that. It is on my to-do list of things to do today. Like, straight up. I think, like, I forgot that it came out yesterday, or I probably would have watched it yesterday before D&D, but then by the time I remembered, it was D&D, so whatever. But it is on my list to watch today. See right there, watch T-Swift doc. And it is high up on the list because it is important. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to grab some chips. I'm going to wrap myself up in a blanket, grab my iPad, and just chill. Actually, oh, I'm wondering how ambitious I am because it doesn't take me too much effort to hook up to my TV. Hmm. I did watch the Reputation Tour on my TV, so... I think I will. All right, I'm gonna go do that and I will check in with you in a little bit, hopefully having, I don't know, having done nothing, having done something, who cares? Alrighty, so it is 6.30 now. I don't know why that took me so long to say that. I, I find it hilarious in mouthwash here. And I like, I'm always like, I'm gonna use mouthwash and I never use mouthwash because I don't know, just never do. Anyways, I'm putting on socks. These are, why am I vlogging right now? These are some of my favorite socks. They're my Miami socks. I'm just thinking, actually, this vlog is the first one with my new intro for February, and there's a point where I'm, like, doing something like this with my socks in the intro. And honestly, I don't know why, but it seemed like the thing to put in there. Anyway, I enjoyed the T-Swift documentary. Really quite liked it, and it was, it was nice because I just sat down and I wasn't on my phone and I wasn't embroidering and I wasn't doing anything. I was just chilling and watching, which is some where'd my I've lost the other sock. <laughs> which is something that I find I really kinda struggle with. Is that too close? And just because usually I am on my phone or or doing something else. So good job me. I am struggling. It's like a good thing I rarely go out in public because... <laughs> other way, other way. Like, that is not fashionable. Anyway, yeah, it's almost dinner time. My mom's boyfriend has to go to work tonight because he's working the night shift. I believe night watch or something like that. So we're having a, a slightly later dinner, but I just, I looked at my list and I have a lot left to do. So I did my reading for the day, which is nice because I didn't read yesterday. And the last time I read, I didn't read much, but I was like, let's read for a while here. And I did. Well, I was like waiting to be like, maybe I should get ready for bed. What are you doing? Come back. <laughs> so what? Normally, I just strap it to my bra, but I'm not wearing a bra right now. Anyway, I have to edit 5,000 words, and 
I have to start on my 30 and 30 challenge for February. There's a good chance I won't hit 30 minutes every day, but let's start out the month right by at least hitting on the first day. And my 30 and 30 challenge for this month is, let's see, Nihongo no benki o shimasu, studying Japanese. I think that's right. I haven't done Japanese for a while, but I think benki o shimasu is study. I should really ask Google. We'll just go with it. Anyway, every time I step away from it for a long time, I forget like basic hiragana and katakana. So I have this book and I really actually like this book because I'm trying to find a good example. It has pictures. Oh, like ku. So, so ku is the cuckoo's beak. So that's how you remember that's ku. I really quite like it. I think it's very useful. Anyway, so we're going to try to be better at Japanese by the end of this month. It's, I don't think I'm bad at it. The problem is if I don't do it regularly, I suck at it. French, I was lucky that I did it in French immersion. And so I was doing it every single day for several years at a time. So even though I don't use French on a daily basis and I do forget some words, I could have a conversation in French. I'd probably blush and get all awkward because it's weird for me because I don't do it all the time, but you could do it. Japanese in class and stuff, aces. Once not doing that, I'm like, ooh, what's that word? Like, is Benkyoshi Mouse, is that study? I don't know. I'll check it out later and I'll let you know, but I'm gonna study. And um, then I'm gonna edit some words, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, for now I'm gonna go because it's almost dinner time. So I'm gonna do that and I will check in with you afterwards, I suppose. I always love it when my watch like alerts me. It's like, you can still do it. You can close your exercise ring. Just a brisk 24 minute walk and you're there. It closes at 30 minutes. Like, basically, you just need to do the whole thing. Like, why watch, why? Anyway, I did look up how to say it. I'm studying or Japanese. And I think I got the tense wrong and I think I said no instead of oh. But thank you, Shimas was right, so good job me. Anyways, I guess that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put on some music and um, learn some hiragana. Ha-akasatana. See how much I remember. And fortunately, I have pencils for this because I always feel like my writing in English, I don't feel like is the greatest. And then when you add characters, it just looks like trash. Although I really did like writing handwriting like cursive Cyrillic because it just always looked really cool. That's just me. Anyways, I'm gonna go do this and I will check in with you either after this or maybe I'll get into my book. Who knows? <laughs> Okay, so I may have just got dry erase marker on my face and I haven't checked yet, so I'm checking now. I did. <laughs> That's what happens when you're trying to do things one-handed. Anyway, um, I just finished my goal for the day. I actually almost... I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. 
surpassed it. That's the word. I was going seceded it? That's not right. I surpassed it by almost 800, which is great because I feel like that will save me later on in the month when I'm like, you know, when to edit <laughs> because I know me and I know me well. I think I actually added like 500 words to this chapter, which I don't think was bad. I rewrote the first two paragraphs entirely and I think they're better for it, but we'll see on the next edit. Again, I wanted this to be my last edit, but it's definitely not going to be. So I'm just accepting that, hey, you can take bigger risks this time. You can make bigger changes because you're going to go through it at least once more. So that's good. And then after my beta readers go through it, I'll go through it like another four times probably. But it wasn't so bad. And actually, you know what? I mentioned this recently, but I was saying how much I hate the beginning of this book, but I didn't actually hate that chapter so much. So maybe it's making a difference. Ah, <laughs> anyway, it is. Wow, it's 915 already. I'm not surprised, like, I've had a pretty busy day. Um, but I'm going to just spend a little bit of time puttering. All I have left on my list is video games, which I really don't need to do, <laughs> and blogging, which I think I will do right now. So I'm gonna take care of that, and then I will be back. I, like, can't focus. I'm like, oh, shiny things. I will be back in a little bit to end the vlog. Well, with that, I guess we've reached the end of the night. It is 22.10. I just wrote a blog post, so other than playing video games and doing laundry, which I just crossed off the list <laughs> much earlier today, other than those things, I did everything on my list, and I'm pretty happy because the Japanese study was just, like, just makes me feel stupid. <laughs> because, I don't know. It's... In my blog post, I was mentioning how, like, in part it made me feel really stupid, but also I felt really proud that I remembered some things. Like, I'm not completely useless. It's just a matter of using it on a regular basis. So, who wants to let me move to Japan? Anyway, um, <laughs> future, future goals maybe? I don't know. But we're all set. I think I had a pretty productive day. My room kind of got a little bit messy as the day went on, but it's fine. I will deal with it tomorrow and probably also do laundry tomorrow and, and, and. <sighs> but for now, it is sleep time. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure, and I'll see you tomorrow when I do very similar things. Good night.